So I've owned this Porsche Cayman 981 for about 18 months now. And it's a great, fun car to drive. But as with all Porsches that were made around about the same era, it's just lacking that little something. Now, you know, it drives great, it looks great, it has adequate power, the performance is, you know, pretty good, but it's just lacking that little something that would take it from being a great, a great sports car to a super, super great sports car. And I've got just the little device. I mean, sure, I could press the sport button and it does change things a little bit, but we can do better. And this is the little sucker. It's a pretty inexpensive modification, but it should do the trick. It's a throttle response kit made by Racechip. Generally, it should increase responsiveness and just make the throttle response a little bit sharper. It's pretty easy to install, so let's crack on. Now, before I go installing anything, I'm just gonna run a quick check on the engine, make sure there are no fault codes there with the POR version 3.0. It's come back with no fault codes found. So if, if there are any faults after I've done the install, then we know it's because of that new kit. This is what's included. Obviously, you've got the main unit, instructions, a bit of box and a bit of um, attachments like Velcro and cable ties as well. Please note though that on the box, it does come with what looks like some sort of controller. This is no longer supplied. They do now want you to do everything through the app, which I prefer, I would prefer it if there was a controller inside the, uh, the vehicle, but now, no, we have to do it from the app. First, you've got to use a T30 Torx bit and remove this Torx bolt to the left-hand side of the accelerator pedal. The next bit can be a little bit tricky, but what you kind of have to do is you kind of have to push this unit up and then you'll find the whole unit will come off and it will expose the electrical connection, which is right there. And we need to remove this plastic electrical connector. Some of them may well be different, but on this one, what you need to do is you need to get this white tab and you need to push it that way until you hear a click. Go, and then you can pull it out. So then you get the connectors on your new box and it's pretty simple really, you've got two new connectors. One of them just goes into the existing slot. So we'll go in like that. And wait for it to click back out. And then this end goes in to the accelerator pedal. We'll go down and then you pop that down to lock it into place Then pop this back in and then we'll worry about getting these wires all neatly tied up and the next part might be a little bit tricky what you've got to do is find a place to locate this unit here maybe fix it against somewhere on the underside of the dashboard area here what I think I've found is I've looped this cable through and through here and I'll bring it all tightly nicely together and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I think I'm going to mount this on. I don't know how well you can see that, but mount that on there probably. Um, can you see that there? Um, obviously, we get a lot of fixings, uh, double-sided tapes, velcros. Uh, so I'll fix that there, tidy up all of this wiring as well, and then we should be good to download the app and start testing it. So I have the race chip brain box installed against this metal plate here. I swear to God, I'm too old for this. I mean, I'm sure you'll find your own way, but this is what my finished product looks like. I'm not sure how well you can focus on that. It's got a cable going up there, and then it eventually goes into the brain box, which is up there. Right, so we've finally now connected everything. Can you see me? Good. And I've now got on screen here the driving modes. So it's given me three driving modes. You've got race, eco, sport, and then we can click on the fine tuning option and then it gives me like race, race plus, I guess, S plus, sport, sport plus, sport R, and then eco, E, S, S plus, R. So there's lots of different tunes that you can put in. Uh, I think probably the best thing to do is take it out for a drive, start playing on with these different settings and see which one works best for my driving style. Yeah, if you want to know quickly what all of these options mean, then it does give you a full list of what they all mean in the user manual. So it's worth taking a look at that. All right, so I'm on the move now and I've got the eco setting 
uh, selected. So just put your phone down and just drive it in whatever option you want. So, eco mode doesn't really seem to have made any difference at all. I wouldn't expect it to, to be honest with you. I would probably expect the eco mode to be the worst of them all. So what I'll do is just pull over here and then I'm going to switch it up into sport mode. They say don't toggle between modes while you're actually uh, driving. So, start that now. Oh, that feels a bit perkier. Okay, all right. Yeah, that, that gives it a little bit of a kick much quicker when you're putting your foot down. So that's the sport mode, which seems to be a lot better. And there's an instant, instant difference there. Oh, I like that. In fact, what I'll do is, I'll go this way. Oh yes, that's nice. Like I say, as soon as you put your foot on the accelerator, you can notice it kicking into action straight away. And that lag or that inertia that was previously there in the eco mode and before we even installed the chip is just instantly gone with this sport mode. I'm going to pull over here and I'm going to switch it up again into race mode. So now race mode is selected. Oh yes, straight away. You can instantly feel that the throttle response is just so much better, so much crisper, so much sharper. Oh, that has completely transformed things. Oh my God. When putting your foot down, it's just instantly there. What about sport mode? So, oh, Jesus Christ, if I'm putting it in sport mode while in race mode, that is, Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't want to sound like, Jesus, you've got to be careful going around the corners, actually. Oh, wow. That has made such a difference. I'm trying to think of the right words to say without me just saying, oh, oh, making kind of sexual noises. Honestly, I think probably the best thing to do would be for you to try this because whatever I see probably won't justify this box. I am super impressed with that, super impressed with that. Now I'll just bring myself back down to earth a minute. I'll take the sport mode off. We're still in race mode. The tool itself is 199 pounds so I think for the value for money 199 pounds is really really worth it if you wanted to go for the uh, the scan tool that I used earlier as well to make sure you're checking for fault codes before and after uh, incidentally I have checked for fault codes and there are no fault codes showing after I've done the install so that was like 169 pounds the one, the one drawback of this whole experiment in this kit is the fact that you do have to use your phone um, I think the early versions of this throttle response kit, they did come with like a, a little controller where you could just toggle up and down depending on what setting you wanted. So I'm a little bit disappointed that the tool doesn't, sorry, the kit doesn't have a controller, but you just, I suppose you've just got to make sure you've always got a little bit of charge on your phone. And I think possibly my only regret with this kit is that I didn't, I didn't buy it earlier. I didn't buy it as soon as I bought the car because it's such fun it really does transform the car into what feels like what a race car I've never driven a race car and I'm still not saying that this is now a race car but it certainly feels like it would have the responsiveness of what a race car would and should have it's just so alert and just so ready you have to be ready for it Guys, I'll put the links to this kit in the description below this video, and I'll put the, uh, the link to the iCarsoft tool in as well. Um, I'm not affiliated with this race chip company or anything like that. It's just something that I've bought. I've paid for it with my own money. Um, so, you know, it's an honest opinion. I'm not, I'm not purely just saying this to try and get you to buy the tool so I can get commission. It's, it, it's nothing like that at all. It's a genuine purchase. Because I'm genuinely... God, 
genuinely wanting to uh, modify it, just play around with my Porsche. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you on the next video.